Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird's a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Bird is a winner. Well, the bird, don't you know? Hey, this is Birdman316. We are out here in the field with the flying frog, which is the JJRC H26. Let's get this timer set set for nine minutes now this bird flies for 11 minutes we're gonna cut it off at nine to be safe and save that battery and stuff like that so that's an always good to play it safe we got a little breeze out here but there's something a little different about this bird today you notice the front arms have these neon red strips on the end of the motor pods we're gonna see how visible that is in the daytime um, that trying to fly in my ear I'm not sure if my my earwax will taste good to him, but anyway. And also we put in some graphite powder in those motors. That'll help lube them and keep the brushes cooler and all that good stuff like that. So, let's get this baby in the air. Everything been bounded. We got the timer set for nine minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that button. Starting the countdown. Here we go, we're in rate number one. We're going to fly around rate number one. We're going to bump up to rate number two and go from there. Here we go. She's doing pretty good. Let's go to rate number two, speed number two. Speed number two. Check out y'all right out. The speed number two. Let me bring her a little closer. I know you guys can't see her too good out there that far. Little vortex ring stay here. Just a little vortex ring state. There we go, we got her now. There we go. That was a pretty good little trick there. Reverse pull away and then a yaw and then keep on going the other way, that's neat. Yeah, I think I had the throttle set a little bit too low when I was uh, close to the ground there a little while ago. That's some deep pitch right there. This is all stock with the original battery in it. It's got a funny kind of connector. Not a JST, it's not a Losi. I don't know what it is, but it's weird looking. That's a speed number two right there. Oh wow, now we're in speed number three, check this out. Man, that's some deep pitch, check this out.
Back in speed number two again. Speed number three is really wicked. At least they ain't no, uh, what do you call those things, automatic flips. I don't like that too much in a bird. I'd rather do a manual flip, but these props on this one, as well as the tarantula, it's got a funny design where the skirts are, where it goes onto the shaft, onto the prop shaft itself. It's a weak point in the propeller. So if you stress those props out in any kind of way like that, trying to do manual flips or, or doing some crazy, crazy stuff that it's uh, trying to do, those props can't handle all that stress. And I lost a prop one time out here on my tarantula. One of the back props uh, literally blew up right after a flip. And that thing came tumbling on down to the ground. There we go. Do another reverse pull away here. That's pretty cool, I like that. And this, this thing runs good, I mean, it's, and speed number one, it's easy to fly. I think a, a relatively beginner can fly it, but a, a regular, um, when you're first starting out with them, you want to start out with like a X5C or the FY326, because this thing here, if you crash it, it will break. It's heavy enough that it can break itself and it can, uh, get tore up pretty bad, you know. So I guess um, after you've uh, mastered flight with the X5C, this would be a great one, a great second bird, or even the tarantula, which is practically the same running gear, the same props, the same motors. But this one here's got a big old, uh, looks like a frying frog, frog body. That's why I call it the frying frog. So check out those neon, uh, there's neon stripes on the front. Let's do a reverse pull away into the sunset after I get this bug out of my ear. Come back over here now. Here we are. Looks like some flashing lights on. May have been from all that crazy flying I did. Okay, let's go ahead and put her down. The timer hadn't gone off yet. The timer hadn't gone off yet. So we're just going to put her down gently in the grass over this way, preferably. See those lights flashing on in the front? That's the LVC. So we're just going to go ahead and drop her now. There we go. I guess all that aggressive flying. You see, I still got like a minute and a half to go on the timer. And plus, it depends on how hard you fly it too. The harder you fly it, the more power it's going to require to make it do all them crazy moves and such. And your battery of life is going to be a little bit less because of that. But it's all good. I mean, I just wanted to get a flight with the flying frog out here at the sunset in different speeds. And and she does really good. Let me go ahead and uh, stop the while and get it, go ahead and let it ring itself out. But anyway, this has been another flight, a daytime flight of the flying frog which is the JJRC H26. This is Birdman 316. Sayonara.